it's that time of year again. First, we did a skit, then we did a fire music video, and now, year three, to round out the trilogy, we're making a tier list. It is time to rank all the AP courses. Some of them I've taken, by some I mean like a third of them because I'm a nerd like that. Some of these I haven't taken. I have heard some stuff about these classes from other people though, so I'm gonna use that in my decision making. So yeah, uh, without further ado, let's get started. We have 38 of these to get through, so we'll make it quick and we'll have some fun. Before we get started, if you wanna just like skip to the end where I finish up the tier list, you can go to this timestamp right there if you wanna do that. If you wanna do that, go ahead. It's all you, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So here we have our beautiful tier list, made it on tierlist.com, very creative name. We have our 38 AP classes here, from research all the way up to Spanish literature and culture, wide variety of stuff to work with. We're gonna start off with AP research. I've never taken AP research or seminar, none of these capstone courses, but from what I've heard from people who have taken them, they're kind of a pain. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in C tier, research and C tier. We'll put seminar before. Next, let's move on to these art classes. I didn't actually realize these studio art classes were like kind of all put together. I don't, I still don't know how they work, but an AP class that's just making art does sound pretty cool. So we're gonna put all three of these actually in A tier. Art history, I, seems like an interesting class, but uh, I don't know. Any history class, right? You're learning about things that happened in the past and the past is the past. It's already happened. Okay, it's a loop, can't change it. Christopher Nolan taught me that. We'll put it in B tier, that's a solid mid right there. Music theory, okay. Um, if you're really into music, this could be pretty fun. We'll put it above seminar and research because if you're into this, it could be cool. You know, we'll put research down in D tier actually because it deserves to be there. Oh, it spells F. <laughs> okay, uh, anyway, English classes, this is gonna be fun. Lang, I took Lang last year. And while it kind of was a struggle, it did teach me some stuff about writing. So I'm gonna put Lang in B tier. Lit, straight F tier. It's so useless. When am I ever gonna need to know why Shakespeare decided to use iambic pentameter instead of like whatever the f the other ones are. And poetry too. Okay, this is gonna be, what's the word? Hot take, that's the word. That's, that's gonna be a hot take. I do not understand poetry. It's just words. Poetry is so easy. I can make up a haiku right now if I wanted to. English lit is trash. Please do not ever take it. Save yourself. I beg. There we go. Easy haiku right there. CompGov. I'm not taking this class. I know some people who are. Content seems a bit difficult, but I feel like it's pretty useful because it could help you with like keep up with current events. So we'll put a high B tier. Euro, once again, it's a history class, D tier. We'll put it behind research. That's how much I hate history. <laughs> Human Geo, I haven't taken this class. I know some people who took it freshman year. The concepts covered in it seem kind of interesting and also seems like a pretty chill class. We'll put it behind CompGov. Macro and Micro. I personally love the economics classes, okay? They're really interesting, at least for me, because some of the stuff is like quantitative so that I like that sort of stuff. And then once again, it also helps with like keeping up with current events. So these are gonna be our first S tiers. I love the economics classes. They're very fun. Oh my God, stop shifting up. Next, Psych. Psych is one of those classes where it's like, it's interesting while you're taking it, but once you're done taking the class, I doubt any of it's actually gonna apply to you in real life. We'll put a low A tier, because Psych's a pretty fun class. Ooh, GovPol. I'm taking that this year right now. And it's pretty simple stuff, kind of dry at times, but I feel like it's also kind of helpful if you don't really know that much about politics. I totally know stuff about politics, you know, so going into this class, I, I definitely knew what I was talking about before, but for the people who don't know that much about politics, right, this could help them out. So I'll put it in high C tier. A push, uh, ooh, I'll put it low C tier, actually, because at least US history you should kind of know. I know many people hate this class because it's a lot of memorization. I hated it too, but it has some worth in that it's kind of useful to know. <laughs> AP World History. I loved this class because the teacher for it was, the teacher that I had was great. I know it's kind of like a push in a way where it's a lot of memorization and it's history also, but I'm gonna put it low B tier. Moving on, let's go to our math classes. Okay, the, my inner nerd is gonna come out here. Let's start with Cal. A, B. This is also gonna be an S tier for me because personally the class was kind of difficult, but if you're taking this class, you're probably interested in some sort of STEM field. So calc is like one of those fundamental things you need to know. So you know, I'll put it in 
Hmm. We'll put it above Scythe. BC, however, can go D tier. I only learned half the curriculum anyway because of COVID. Yeah, BC, eh, eh, nah. Next. Comp Sci A. Computer Science is one of those classes that I also think you should learn because even if you're not going to be doing like Comp Sci related stuff, you got you learn algorithms. At least for me, I thought algorithm algorithms and stuff were pretty cool. Fortunately, I did not get this class when I applied to it. I'm not sure why, but I'm still very salty about that. So we're putting that in low B tier. Computer Science Principles. I really don't know anyone who's taking this class. That seems about right. Stat, okay, I love stat, S tier. At least for me, I thought it was pretty simple stuff and I feel like it's pretty useful no matter what you're trying to do. Doesn't matter if you're going into a STEM field and you need to do research or if you're trying to do like an arts field and you just need to know some basic statistical stuff like mean, median, that, that's pretty basic stuff. You learn that in stat. I mean, you learn it in like third grade too. And yeah, so stats, S tier, bio. I know a lot of people who like bio. I know a lot of, I have a lot of friends who are trying to major in bio. I personally don't like bio that much. I started off high school liking bio a lot, but I guess after taking AP bio, I realized that it's mainly just a lot of memorization. So we're gonna put bio in like, we'll put it above GovPol. Okay, chem, who? If you've ever asked me about taking AP chem, I'll give you one response every single time. AP Chem is the one class I stay away from. From what I've heard about people taking AP Chem, it just sounds like a pain. I'll put it above Comp Sci A, or now I'll put it at the end. Here, there we go. Apes, okay. Apes is a pretty hard class, no matter where you're trying to take it. I think it's a pretty hard class. A lot of topics, a lot of content, so a lot of memorization too, but it's about the environment and we love the environment. And when I took it, the class was pretty fun. We did some pretty fun projects. I had a lot of good friends in that class. So we'll put it in, hmm. Put it above CompGov. Now the physics classes. I've only taken one of these physics classes and that's physics C max. So I'll start off with that. It's not really that much content, honestly. It's kind of like, 10 formulas need to know, and then from there you can do the rest. I'd say it's a pretty fun class. We're gonna put physics right under Calc AB. Physics C, E, and M, I'll just put it right behind that because if it's similar to MEC, then we'll put it there. Now the algebra-based ones, I've heard these ones are pretty hard. And if you're gonna take physics, I feel like you should just know calculus itself. Who even uses algebra anymore, right? That's like so 19th century. Let's just put that, I'll we'll put it behind. Well, no, we'll put them over there. Finally, we get to our foreign language classes. Honestly, if you're taking, I don't really understand the point of taking an AP language class because like that's what Duolingo is for. Anyway, we'll start off, you know, we'll start off with French because that's the one that's close to my heart. Um, there, better than seminar. Music theory probably sounds better though. Chinese language and culture. Ooh, I've never learned Chinese, but it seems like a pretty fun language. We'll put it right there just for fun. It's above French. German, don't really know that much about German. We'll put it after world history though. Let's see, that way you can learn world history and then learn German and that'll help you out with world history. Big brain. Italian, ooh, very romantic language. We'll put it behind French because I feel like they're kind of like the same language. One's just pizza and the other one is Mona Lisa. Japanese, never really learned it, but seems like a pretty cool language and their culture. Oh, I forgot about the culture part of this. Yeah, Japanese culture is also pretty cool. So we'll put it right above Chinese. How about that? Oh, look at that. English language, Japanese language, Chinese language. Wow, wow. Latin, dead language, F tier. Still better than lit though. Spanish lang and culture. Spanish is a pretty useful language. A lot of people speak Spanish, especially for the US. We'll put it above French. How about that? Spanish lit, I'm gonna put it down here too, because that's like English lit, but in Spanish. Wow, that is a lot of AP classes. I'm gonna go through this quickly, make some edits. Physics Mac. Hmm. You know, I'll put psychology above it because psych is pretty chill and I feel like that's a bit more applicable than physics. I'm gonna move human geo up to A tier. I've never taken the class, but I feel like the stuff you learn in that is useful just to know in general. So I'm actually gonna move physics down here. Oh my God, we have a double layered B tier now. I gotta move some stuff out of that. Chemistry, let's move it down here. Actually, move it above bio. Research, your, Euro I'm gonna put up here because some European history is actually kind of interesting, especially like with all the kings. I really, okay, I honestly don't know anyone who's taking comp side principles. I don't even, I don't think Enlo offers comp side principles. So I'll keep that there. So yeah, that is our beautiful tier list. I'd say that's pretty even. If you object to anything I put in this tier list, leave it in the comments below. We'll have fun with that. And if you wanna try the tier list out on your own, I actually made this template on my own. So I'll drop the link in the description if you wanna just have fun with that. Uh, if this video's coming out 
before AP exams. Good luck with those, especially for the seniors. Last time taking them. You guys probably don't care about AP exams at this point, but if you're still taking them, just have fun with it. Senior year, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess that's it. I don't really know how to end this video. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.